Guns of Glory's second anniversary is finally here. Today is definitely a milestone worth celebrating. Hope that you guys are enjoying the events and features they have prepared for you. Let's look back together at the major updates over the past year, as well as some insights about the ideas of the game development process. Without further ado, let's get started. It's been almost one year since the team introduced Goods Exchange into the game. This was a very requested feature from the players, as this was an easy way for players to request items as well as receive items from Alliance members and help each other to develop faster. The team here wanted to reward players for their hard work and achievements, which is how Timed Lord Target's event was brought into the game, a great way for players to receive plenty of gold as a reward for their development, as well as getting acknowledged for their achievements. In the end of 2018, a brand new event, Night Siege, was introduced. A lot of feedback was taken into consideration when creating this amazing event for you guys. An event that required Alliance members to work together to defeat the terrifying monsters. Let's move on to this year. Time really flies, doesn't it? At the beginning of 2019, the new world was released. The team here wanted to find a new event with less requirements and where more players could participate. Apart from the great rewards, this event is also a great way to test your strength by attacking other players from different kingdoms to try out different formations and not have to worry about losing troops. And speaking of battles, did you know that KVK could last for days before it was optimized? The main reason why KVK was optimized to 24 hours was to prevent battles to last for days. What's your thought about this? Would you rather have kept it as it was? As the team here received a lot of positive feedback regarding the new world, they wanted to create something new, but at the same time, keep some of these great features such as not losing troops from the new world. Not only that, they also had in mind to create an event that was easily accessible every day. That's the main idea, how the Musketeer Fort was brought into the game. It took some time for the team to introduce Alliance skins into the game, and who doesn't like skins? The team here was very keen to release their first Alliance Fortress skin, which they did in update 2.8, and response from you guys was very positive. And for the record, they are planning to release more amazing skins. What kind of skins would you like to see? Have you ever experienced difficulties when a new feature was released in the game? The team worked hard to come up with a solution for this and implemented a new system. The system you know as New Center, which was released in version 2.9. They wanted to present better guides, make these more accessible, and to bring you guys the latest information all in one place. The team here knows that many of you love to participate in Alliance events, such as Alliance Ultimate Campaign, as all troops that get killed during the event can be healed for free. Based on this, they created a new Alliance battle feature, as known as Blood War. A very intense battle between one Alliance against another Alliance, fighting to be victorious. Are you familiar with Teleport Freeze? Teleport Freeze is not working in KVK when players invaded other kingdoms was one of the most requested suggestions among players. Even though this was originally by design, the team decided to optimize this, which was optimized at the end of May in Update 3.1. And as I mentioned earlier in this video, the Night Siege was introduced in the game in the end of 2018. This, however, was optimized update 3.2 to make it easier for members to participate and get an easier overview where the members are and where to go. A relative recent new event that has been brought into the game, and most of you guys already are familiar with this. Yes, you're right, it's the Honor Challenge. The team went on a different approach when they created this event. They wanted to create an event with lower castle requirements so more players could participate that also provides great rewards for everyone. An Honor Challenge has now become one of the most popular events so far. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for your support, and the team here is very thrilled to bring more exciting content for you. Before we go, please leave your in-game name and kingdom in the comment section below. 20 players will be randomly selected and have a chance to win some amazing rewards. Bye! Bye.